SMT Nation, glad to have you back for this edition of the channel, a special episode. I caught an upgrade in the act, and it's going to be a great one. Uh, just before I get started, I want to thank some people. A big shout out to the fine folks over at the SMT Patreon page. Thank you for your continued support. Videos like this are made possible because of that support. And also a big shout out to Brandon E for the Big Boss Cash App app donation. Appreciate you very much. And because of supporters, like uh, Brandon, as well as the Patreon uh, supporters, able to bring you guys all types of footage, all types of testing, and advances and improvements to the channel. So big shout out to them, and thank you for all that you do to support us here. All right, now to get things started here, this tower site was just upgraded by T-Mobile, and they did a great job. Uh, full modernization, full upgrade. Uh, it was a sprint keep site for them. They're located at the top of the water tower. They did the hardware installations and the gear on the tower in about a week's time. And then within, you know, just a few days or about a week, they got everything on air. And I've been testing it. I've been kind of using it. And I've got some more follow-up videos on that, some content that I'm making. And I've done content already on that upgrade. And so far, so good. Um, I've got follow-up stuff up and coming. Uh, but what's interesting about this upgrade is literally a couple of hours, you know, after T-Mobile's crew arrived axiom uh fordcom showed up <laughs> and this tower crew was working for at&t so they had to leave go to a different project and then come back to the site after t-mobile was done because you can't have two crews on the same site except in an emergency where radios have gone down and services are disrupted or you know fiber cuts or whatever you know so they had to come back and so that means they went and upgraded a site for at&t and came back to this one and i am so happy they basically came instantly finished another site or two and then came back in the last couple of weeks so in this particular instance uh you will see kind of the scenario here it's very residential the tower is nice and high on this water tower uh this side i think this sector here is facing west all right this sector here is facing north and a little bit east or just a little bit just a smidge then the other side uh we're facing east all right so um pretty good stuff here the way it's set up is is pretty simple playground uh you've got uh all residential there's a little bit of business sprinkled here interstate right uh the t streets um I, there's churches uh these signals are going to be really important for people all right, here is a little bit of a close-up. You will see that the crew is working on that sector. It's in progress. They started this one over here. They already finished the one on the back end, and I'll show you guys some more detail. But you will see trucks, cables, you know, trailers, uh, people in the cabinet, people at the at the bottom of the site, people on the site, crew of about five or six people. All right, here is a view of where the crew's position was, uh, where they placed everything. They have to work around these cables, these power lines, and... Um, so they couldn't work over on this side to do these sectors. They basically have to climb from here and then walk their way around and, and you know, put all the gear and everything. All right, here's a view of the work. There's a couple of employees on this site uh, working on things, and then there's a couple on this site. This one already had the gear installed. This one is halfway done. You can see there's only one uh, C-band panel, uh, and and there's two on this one and then on the back end the two are already done so they're like 60 percent of the way done with this uh hardware installation here's the crew coming up all right so um and then here's a close-up of the crew you know getting up all suited up hard hatted up they got all their gear and you know you could see that they're making modifications so some of the things i want to share with you guys are the details of the upgrade what you can expect to see on your upgrades and what my site is going to be getting all right. Uh, now, I'm going to be pretty technical. Um, and what I want to show you guys in detail here, this is the sector that was facing me where I was taking the pictures. Each of these radios doing something different, different frequencies, and then each of these antennas a little bit different. So let me give you guys the breakdown of what they're doing. I have all the details. All right. For first of the, uh, the first of the items that they're upgrading is this tower site only had two low band radios. It previously only had band 14 and band 12. It is now getting an additional band 29 upgrade. So you have 10 megahertz of band 14, 
15 megahertz of band 12. Now you're getting an additional 10 megahertz of band 29. All those things are in the 700 megahertz range, but you're getting that additional 10 megahertz of bandwidth on the download only. It's not a paired frequency. So you're getting an additional carrier. So now you've got three or what they call a tri-band uh, tri radio that's going to do all three different blocks of 700 megahertz. That's 10, 15, and 10. So that's pretty nice. Uh, are we going to see N14, N12, or N29 soon? I have no idea. Neither do they. That's going to be on the back end with AT&T. No band 5, no 850 megahertz. That's all with Verizon. Um, so that's kind of how that's going to work. Uh, Mid-band wise, they're going to be putting up two different dual band, well, a dual band radio and then a single band radio, and I'll explain that. They have a band 25 radio going up. All right, that's actually band two for them, the 1900 megahertz. That's PCS. They've got 20 megahertz of that, and they are running N2, the DSS 5G. They're all, that same radio is also going to do the band 66, the 2100 AWS. That'll be N66 future upgradable, I'm sure. Again, that's all on the back end. Uh, that's all like, um, you know, uh, software optimized and all that. They're also going to be putting up a WCS. Tw it's 2300 megahertz. Um, gets its own radio. That's 10 megahertz paired. So they got 20 megahertz N2 of band 2, 20 megahertz of, N6, of band 66, and 10 megahertz of WCS. But that'll be a separate radio. That's actually here. So they'll be upgrading that. Now, for the 5G side of things, and I'm going to show you guys another picture because this one's not complete. All right, so um, you can only see the one antenna and radio there. This is a site that's complete in terms of adding the two uh, 5G panels. They're putting up both N77 frequencies. That's the 3.45 gigahertz DOD and the 3.7 gigahertz C-band. All right, now I am can confirm. This is what they call it. So everybody out there who's trying to like throw names around like we can call it this and we can call it that this is what the crews know it as and this is what they call it so like their terminology is simple the 3.45 gear which is this top one they call that dod the one at the bottom underneath it they call that c-band so when you're asking or speaking to these crews that's how you want to do it so you get two antennas with integrated radios the radios are right behind it you guys see the line separation here antenna radio boom all right uh, confirmed 3.45 DOD will be live in Q3, so it will not go live at the launch of the site. Uh, they're doing fiber trunks. They're doing fiber upgrades. Uh, they're modernizing the cabinet. I asked them about sites only getting 3.7 in some instances and how some get both. He did confirm that that does happen. He did cite some supply issues in some instances, uh, but they are upgrading sites, and they're done with their work essentially in four to five days. This site was scheduled to start work on Tuesday, uh, but they didn't start Tuesday. They started on the Wednesday and they'll be finishing Friday. So they're essentially taking uh, three days if they can get things done very quickly to modernize most sites. So this is pretty amazing. This is pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> I know he, I asked him about the Nokia gear. He did, he did confirm it was a Nokia. This is a Nokia market, but he has said that the Nokia, uh, Nokia supply seems to have stabilized because all the sites they're starting to do are having both antennas, both radios, and uh, they're happy about that, and so am I. <laughs> so, so this is great. Um, just a couple of things to note here, and I'll show you guys a few more pictures. Here is the setup, what it'll look like when it's done. Again, some of the stuff is going to be fixed. Like here's the band 30 upgrade. Uh, that'll be changed. I think this is the AWS PCS, so th those will be upgraded. Here's an image of the actual antenna. I don't know which one this is. I'm guessing this one is the DOD one. All right, Nokia gear. Uh, you get the uh, antenna in the front, and you get the radio behind it integrated. So that's coming up. Here's a good view of what you're looking at and what you're looking for. All right, so they're working here on this side. Uh, I think I'm not. I'm not exactly sure all the frequencies on this particular panel. I'm guessing that's the all the low band stuff. All right, so that's the band 12, band 14, and the band 29 set up um, with all the radios getting upgraded. And then this one here would be like the AWS PCS. So you're getting a full LTE modernization and a full 5G add-on. All right, here is um, a pretty good view of the gear. Give you guys a close up. This one here at the bottom, that's the one that's gonna be doing 
the 3.7. And here's the one at the top, and that one will be doing the 3.45. AT&T has no problem putting up dual radios and dual antennas. They don't care. And look, look at the space it takes up. It's not much, right? By the way, this stuff's pretty heavy <laughs> when it's got in, you know integrated radios and antennas. So this is probably like 100 pounds for each one of these. So this is 200 pounds. Each one of these is probably 200 pounds. You need a couple of two or three people to position these and anchor them and secure them. All right, this is what you're looking for. And I always, you know, kind of speak to the positioning here. The lower frequency is at the bottom, the higher frequency, or excuse me, the lower frequency at the top, the higher frequency at the bottom. I think the difference here, guys, is they're probably, there's something internally that they know about the frequencies. I don't know, it could be power. Um, maybe, you know, the 3.7 gets higher power more watts so they feel comfortable putting it a little bit lower and trying to stretch the signal on 3.45 you know that'll give you things like um, better range uh this well, the 3.7 will be 40 megahertz until the end of next year that'll move to 80 megahertz of bandwidth and at the top that'll be 40 megahertz for the 3.45 uh, and that'll be going on air in q3 so we'll have 40 here 40 here this year that's 80 megahertz so i'm expecting to see gigabit speed yes from at&t with their multi-gig fiber transport their backhaul on this site all right so that's what i that's what i expect high expectations here's a nice picture and view of some of the radio gear and some of the antennas uh real nice view here of the um, c-band antennas and then here's kind of like the lt stuff here's that band 30 radio uh and then some of the other radios as well uh tell me what you guys think of the upgrade uh let me know if you guys have any questions or if you're seeing AT&T upgrades and if you're seeing the same thing. By the way, big shout out to the Pixel 6 Pro. It takes amazing photos. Uh, I'm really happy with the way that it's performing on these types of videos. And again, if you have questions, comment down below. Ask uh, for what they're doing, and I'll let you guys know what I do know about the upgrade. And tell me what you guys think about uh, the upgrade and then also what you're seeing. Uh, comment down below. Uh, like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. Uh, and also I will be doing a follow up video on this when it's done and it's live and I'll be testing very excited about this awesome and amazing upgrade. Uh, there are links in the description box for my Twitter handle, as well as my Patreon page. If you want to support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else, as well as business inquiries, they can be set to the Gmail address in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.